in pursuit of the way of the golden mountain, I stumbled upon this gorgeous, gorgeous nugget of juice this morning. This is from Standish O'Grady's The Flight of the Eagle in 1897. Here shined and trembled the wisp of druid grasses, from whose whisperings with the dawn wind pure ears might learn the secrets of life and death. Here beneath those hazels, their immortal green and their scarlet clusters, sprang the well of the waters of all wisdom. Three dreadful queens guarded it. Sometimes they smile, seeing afar some youth wandering unconsoled, or laden with the burthen of his thoughts, wrapped with visions tormented by the gods, a stranger in his own household, scorned by those whom he cannot scorn, outcast from the wholesome, cheerful life of men. They smile, and smiling, dart from rosy, immortal fingers, one radiant drop upon his pallid lips, and lo, the word out of his mouth becomes a sword, wherewith he shears through mountains. With his right hand, he upholds the weak, and with the left, prostrates powers, and tyrants tremble before the light of his mild eyes.